What's happening? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the things good and bad inside Apple's world. And yes, we'll announce the winners of our Jealous Skins giveaway, but first to the stories. Now, we talked about product rumors last week, and as always, there are more developments. Engadget has a follow up to their next gen Apple TV Intel and now says the device will be named the iTV. It will have no hard drive, but will only support 720p video and not any 1080p or 1080i content. Now that's a buzzkill, but the set-top box will have apps and presumably an app store as well, with an expected launch by the end of this year. Now there's no confirmation on this, but you can bet the Magic Trackpad can be used with the iTV as well. Now on the iPod Touch front, Daring Fireball's John Gruber claims the new iPod Touch will have Apple's Retina display and two cameras. There has been no solid confirmation. He's been pretty good with his Intel, but this means there would need to be a redesign to fit the cameras in the new Touch. And have you heard this rumor about a Verizon iPhone? Digitime still claims Pegatron will be producing the CDMA-based iPhone in December for a January launch, but a recently leaked product roadmap for Verizon through 2012 mentions no sign of an iPhone. Oh, and that white magical unicorn, otherwise known as the iPhone 4, the UK wireless carrier Orange is telling customers it won't be expecting them until the end of the year. Tear. Now on to happier news. If you're an iPhone user, a new survey by online dating site OkCupid says you're getting more booty than other phone users. The survey collected info for the number of sexual partners for both male and females at age 30, crunched the data, and the iPhone came out on top. Now, you know, I've got to agree with this. The iPhone has been a total chick magnet for me. I can't, wait, wait. Here, wait. No, I'm trying to get out. I'm, no, don't, no. I want a ball. Oh, hold up, guys. Another lady call me. Give me a second here. Hey, what's up, mama? Oh, hi, mom. Yes. No, I'll take out the trash. Yes, and the dog poop. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, bye. All right, let's check out this how-to for getting flash running on a jailbroken iPhone. Apple's refused to allow Flash to run on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, but now you can do it if you're willing to jailbreak your device. I'm Brian Tong, and I'll show you how to install an app called Frash that will allow you to view Flash content on your iDevices. Now, you'll first need to jailbreak your device, which is legal, but void your Apple warranty with Apple. So to find out how to do that, you can find the video at CNETTV.com. Now, let's get to it. You have a jailbroken device, and first we'll launch the City app. Select the Manage tab, and then select Sources. You'll see a list of sources, Hit the edit button and then add. Enter in this URL and then once you're done with that, add source. It will update and when it's done, hit return to Cydia. When the installation finishes, go to the search tab and then find Frash and install that application. Reboot your iDevice, but once it's up and running, you'll have the ability to view some, but not all Flash content on your iDevice. So far, we've seen it run best on car websites and restaurant websites. And yes, those advertisements you love to hate, they display most of the time. But it's a basic flash you're getting here, and all the websites with a flash-based video player did not display content or would crash, including our own GameSpot.com. But there you have it. I'm Brian Tong with your how-to for installing and viewing flash content on your iDevices. Use it wisely. So it kind of works, but it's really not worth jailbreaking your phone for it. All right, let's get you some more goodies with this week's App of the Week. This week's App of the Week is for the iPad, and it's called Little Things. It's an awesome seek and find game. It's really something that everyone can play together, and you might even make a new friend. There it is, there it is, there it is! Yeah! <laughs> it's $2.99 for the first week, and a bonus it's also one of those games that a girl can play with you. So check it out and just make sure that your significant other doesn't ask to play with your little things in public. Now onto some quick bites. Apple has released a fix for a PDF security hole in iOS 4, so get on that update to 4.0.2. Adobe has enabled Mac hardware acceleration in their updated Flash Player 10.1. So check that out and see if there's a difference in performance for you. And after two years of back and forth, Apple has decided to replace first generation iPod Nanos 
sold in Japan that had a risk of overheating with 27 confirmed overheatings. I told you ladies there was a Nano in my pocket. So we'll see how Apple deals with the replacement and this issue in other countries. Now let's get to the winners of our Jell Skins giveaway. The number of cups in that impressive pyramid was 47. So congrats to Pierce Watkins, Rodrigo Munez, Bob Liu, Keisha Sears, and Amr All. So congrats to all of you. And my people will talk to your people. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. Send me your emails to the applebyte at cnet.com. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for another bite of the apple. Watch all of your favorite live streaming CNET shows at CNET Live. You'll find a schedule of what's showing next, and you can chat live with the hosts and other listeners during the show. CNET Live at CNET.com slash live.